To really learn about Tibet, take a tour of the Tibetan refugee settlements around Pokhara, Nepal. Here the people are free to talk, and they're happy to share their stories of fleeing Tibet during the Chinese invasion of 1959. After a brief stop to look at handcrafted Tibetan carpets and jewelry, the tour departs for Jampaling Tibetan Refugee Settlement, located about an hour and a half outside of Pokhara on the way to Kathmandu. This remote village is so untouched by civilization that the Tibetan traditions have been preserved. As the guests arrive, residents file into the central courtyard surrounding the performance area in front of the monastery, excited to be viewing their own dances. Soon, the youngsters gather, and the traditional dances of Tibet are performed, just as they have been for eons in ancient Tibet. <laughs> Gyatso, who was raised in this settlement, explains the symbols of the monastery and accompanies guests on a circumvention where they spin prayer wheels. And you see in the middle there's a uh, wheel. Yeah. It's a uh, wheel of Dharma. Dharma. So there's so many meanings of that, uh, this wheel. Wheel of Dharma, wheel of suffering, wheel of life cycle. So never uh, stop. It's gone, comes and go, comes and go. Um, that's the symbol. Yeah, that's the symbol. So any monastery, if you go, you see this. Inside the monastery are the ancient trappings of Buddhism, giant drums, butter sculptures, Buddha statues carried by hand from Tibet as people fled. Outside in the community, the old mingles with the new. Traditional homes, businesses, and a mound of rocks carved with prayers contrast with the new world, 
the solar cookers for drying meat and boiling water and providing heat for the kitchens. After a stroll across the Seti Gorge, it was time for lunch in a traditional Tibetan home. Tibetan tea seemed to be an acquired taste. So do you like it? In monastery? No. No. Bernd weiß, it geht. But everyone agreed that the authentic Tibetan lunch was delicious. After lunch, Jampa Chodak joined the tour. Eighty-something now, he was actively involved with protecting the Dalai Lama as he fled Tibet in 1959, and he shared his story with the group. Winter, winter palace that for Dalai Lama is Norbulinga. So he was in during the winter time in Norbulinga, and China is already surrounded his palace, the winter palace. And anyhow, he managed uh, with himself and one of his uh, like a security guard or something, two person only, they escape. Even there's a tight uh, Chinese uh, security mm -hmm. outside. So they escaped, they went uh, to the uh, way to India, India side. In the afternoon, the group visited Lodric Old People's home at the settlement. On this particular day, residents had gathered in the courtyard to celebrate the passing of one of their members. Some of the residents sat on the concrete porch spinning prayer wheels while others prepared for a community feast. Inside, monks and elders chanted a puja for the departed. A late afternoon tour of the community schools is followed by another delicious dinner, again typically Tibetan, and an overnight stay in a Tibetan home. For more information about half day, full day, or overnight tours to Tibetan settlements around Pokhara, contact Tupton Gyatso at the number shown above or visit Tibetan Encounter at their offices in Lakeside, Pokhara.